Hi, my name is Karthik and I am from executeautomation.com and welcome to an all new course on Angular Automation with Protractor, TypeScript and Cucumber. In this video series, we are going to talk about a complete introduction to an Angular Automation using Protractor. And this is very very interesting course because this course is not just focused on Protractor because we will have a lot of dependencies on other different tools and technologies like TypeScript, Cucumber, Angular application development itself. So this course is going to be very very exciting because this course is very few courses available in internet right now on Protractor automation using TypeScript and Cucumber. So this course is going to be really really exciting. Let's get started. Angular. Angular applications are there for a while and is actively maintained by Google and used by millions of developers right now. There are many versions of Angular like AngularJS, Angular 2 and Angular 4. This Angular 4 is something which is released just a couple of days before and it's kind of very very new. But Angular 2 is more prevalent right now and a lot of companies are using Angular 2 as their backbone of developing the front-end applications. Angular applications are very popular because they are cross-platform, easy to write code, native support of TypeScript which makes coding faster and highly maintainable. And also there are native support of testing tools like Karma and Protractor. So as you can see, Angular applications are built from the ground up by keeping testing in mind and hence there are two different automation testing tools like Karma and Protractor. Karma are mainly used for automating the services of the Angular, whereas Protractor is something which can be used to automate the UI layer of the Angular application. Again, this is going to be an extract of WebDriver.js of Selenium. So we'll be talking a lot about Angular in our next video of this series. But for now, this is a very high level introduction on Angular. TypeScript TypeScript is a typed superset of JavaScript that compiles or transpiles to JavaScript language. Again, TypeScript is something which we have already discussed in our Exit Automation channel a lot under the fundamentals of TypeScript video series. So you can just go ahead and watch the TypeScript fundamental video series in our Exit Automation channel for more information on getting started with the fundamentals of TypeScript. This is a very very important series. I would highly recommend you to just go through the videos of TypeScript fundamentals because in this course, We'll be using TypeScript as the heart and soul for writing the automation script for Protractor. So please go ahead and watch those videos from our Exit Automation channel before you start this course. Selenium, again Selenium is something we have already discussed in our Exit Automation channel a lot and Selenium is a browser automation testing tool. It's primarily used to automate the UI application running within the browser and it has many language bindings and it can be used to build an abstract layer tooling on the top of it. And that's an example which is Protractor. So you can see that WebDriver.js is an extract of Selenium and using the WebDriver.js extract, Protractor is being built. So you can keep on abstracting the layer for tooling on the top of the Selenium. So an example of such binding languages are like C-Sharp, Java and JavaScript. And we have already covered C-Sharp and Java language binding a lot in our Exit Automation channel. So you can just go ahead and watch them as well. And finally, Protractor. Protractor is the hero of this course. So we are going to discuss about Protractor a lot in this course. So Protractor is an end-to-end -end test automation framework for Angular and AngularJS application. And you can see that there is an Angular and AngularJS application. Seems both are same, but what is the difference there? Angular refers to Angular 2 version, which is the current version of the Angular, or maybe the previous version of the application of Angular because currently the Angular version is 4 but since it is released just a couple of days before it is not very popular yet but Angular 2 is something very very popular and here the Angular is referred to as Angular 2 in Angular JS is the Angular 1 basically but it is currently not used a lot because there is a lot or there is a major titanic shift from AngularJS to Angular because Angular uses the component based models. So every development UI layer used within the Angulars are something like components whereas in AngularJS is something different completely. Again guys don't get carried away with these confusing terminologies that I'm talking about right now. We'll be talking a little bit about them in our next video of this course. But as of now, 
This is something you just need to keep in mind that Protractor support both the versions Angular and the legacy version AngularJS. Protractor runs tests against your application running in a real browser interacting within its user world. So it's more like Selenium again, so it's not a very big deal. Well, we'll discuss about Protractor a lot in this course. So as of now, I've just given one single sentence of the Protractor, but it's really, really huge. And you can keep on learning about it once we start getting into that. So the final agenda of this course is going to look something like this. We are going to discuss about Angular application development a little bit in our next couple of videos. And then we'll be talking about Protractor. And then we'll be also working with Selenium there. Again, Selenium is not something which we are going to do exact core Selenium there, but we are going to make use of the concept of Selenium to work with identifying the elements in Protractor. And then finally, we'll be working with the behavioral driven development using Cucumber. So this is the whole agenda of this course. And finally, we'll be using TypeScript and Node to build our application using Visual Studio code. So our ID of choice in this course is going to be Visual Studio. So we'll be using Visual Studio code for developing the whole automation framework using TypeScript in Protractor. So for that, you need to wait till next video. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.